Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. We have got two super simple crockpot recipes here. I'm so excited to share these with you. I'm telling y'all these are so simple. So for the first one, we are going to be making some cheeseburger sloppy joes. And all I've done is I've cooked my two pounds of hamburger meat, drained the grease, and then I'm just gonna add that to my crock pot. If you wanna cook up some onions and peppers to that also, you can do that. I didn't, I just did plain ground beef. I did season my ground beef though as I was cooking it because I always do that. And then I'm just going to start adding in some of my ingredients. I'm going to add in some minced garlic. I already added in some salt and pepper. I'm gonna add in some Worcestershire. And I wanted to note that this is based off two pounds of hamburger meat. And y'all, I don't have a recipe for this. I just added what I thought looked right and what tastes right. And then I'm gonna add in one can of cream of mushroom. If you don't like cream and mushroom, just sub it out for whatever cream soup you like. And then I'm going to add in 8 ounces of Velveeta. I'm using the cheese sauce packets. Y'all know how much I love those. But if you just have a block of Velveeta, you can just add, I think it's like half of a regular size. You just want to have at least 8 ounces. Um, and this way, it kind of made it super easy because it was already all like liquidy. And so I just mixed it together. Um, but if you do the chunks, then just add those in. And it might take a little bit longer for it to kind of melt up and heat up. So all you have to do is mix it all together and then set it on low for about two to four hours. Just remember everything is cooked, so you're just heating it through well. Um, and then we served this on some hamburger buns and we served it with alongside of some french fries. And here it is y'all it was super delicious creamy cheesy just add on your favorite cheeseburger toppings and we served it with some french fries for the next crock pot recipe we are using chicken breast and i kind of came up with this so i had this bottle of 
dressing in the pantry and I wanted to use up and I thought this was so perfect. I'm pretty sure that Kristen Stepp did a version of this. I don't know if it's the same brand of dressing or whatever, but I definitely remember her doing something like this um, a while back. And so I just added my chicken breast into the bottom of my slow cooker. You can also use boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Y'all know how much I love using chicken thighs in the crock pot. They're just so juicy and tender. But I had chicken breast thawed out, so I went ahead and just used that. And then I'm going to add um, a half of that bottle of that Parmesan and garlic um, dressing there that is from Private Selection. You can get that from Kroger, but I'm pretty sure you can find a version, like I said. Um, I can't remember what dressing she used, but I had seen that at Kroger and I was like, I've got to try this. I know it's going to be delicious in a, like a pasta dish. So I added in half of a jar of that in there and then I added a a block of cream cheese and I just set it on top you don't need to mix it or anything just sit it on top and the heat as the chicken cooks it'll just kind of melt it and it just melts perfectly into a sauce So I just set it to cook on low for about four hours. So here it is what it looks like when it is all done. And now I'm just gonna take and shred that up. We are also going to be cooking up some rotini. That was the first box I grabbed from the pantry. You can use whatever kind of pasta your family is gonna enjoy. Just cook it on the side and then you're, once it is done, you're just gonna add it into your shredded chicken. And y'all, this was so good. I'm telling you, even Winston loved this. It was something different because, you know, like I make Italian chicken pasta all the time or I do like you can buy like the jarred, um, like the Olive Garden one. Like you can do, I do those all the time, but this was something different and it really having that random jar of dressing really inspired me to maybe branch out and try even different ones. So if there's like a certain dressing that your family enjoys or one that you see on the shelf and it's like, oh, I bet that's good. Try it this way. Put it in the crock pot with some chicken, add some pasta, and see how it is. Because I was super impressed with this bottle of the Parmesan garlic, and I will definitely be trying this again. I also wanted to add that I didn't add, I cooked a whole box of pasta, but I didn't end up using it all. I used maybe half, so just use however much you think is, like you want your noodle to sauce ratio. As you can see it here, it was super creamy and delicious. We topped it off with some sprinkle parm, and this was so good, y'all. And that is it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed these two super simple crock pot recipes. Y'all know how much I love cooking in my slow cooker, and especially during the summer, it makes life so much easier when you can be outside playing with your kiddos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.